let's start the button band you want your work right side facing we're starting in the bottom right hand corner the right front should i say we're doing double crochet all the way up on the second row we will be doing buttonholes on this side I've put one double crochet in one of the chains right in the bottom corner and then I've put one round the post so it is chains but I've put it we'll call it the post and then in the natural top a bit like where you've sewn your sleeve where the natural holes are at the top and bottom of your stitches is natural holes and that's what you want so every treble row you want to double crochet when you come to your double crochet row you want one so it's two one two one up to the plain treble crocheting you want two in each and like i say i do one round the post so even if it's a chain two put one round the post one in the hole above one round the post one in the hole above and it just spaces them out evenly you can put two in not in around the post each but because you've got that natural hole you that you then make it gapy I, I don't like i personally don't like it but so long as you put two in your treble ends row ends in your double crochet on your skirt you just want one go right up to the top here the corner edge and i'll meet you there i'll do mine off camera I've gone all the way up you can see it, it lays flat if you don't have enough it pulls it in if you have too much it waves but the rule of thumb is one in a double crochet and two in a treble row end so it doesn't matter what stitch you do on the end that's the rule of thumb now I found going around this corner I just chained one it doesn't mean anything it's just to get you around the corner and there was one two three four but the first three, you want to put a double crochet in there, one in each. This is where you slip stitched. It's a little bit fiddly. And then pop one in that corner as well. In the base of that chain two around the chain two in the natural hole above because you're doing on your treble rows now row ends chain two at the top and then don't forget to pop one in the top of the chain two can you see just in the top there and then that should decrease put one in there now it's a bit of fingers and thumbs now because of all the tail ends put them round on the inside of your work and then one that's the last stitch of the front and then you're jumping across it is gaping but there's a chain two on the top of the sleeve on the right hand sleeve so get your hook in there and then you it will pull it together don't worry about those tails they'll get sorted later this is why I like to leave them and then one double crochet one stitch all the way around the neck now again when you come to the joins don't forget to put a stitch in the chains as well as the stitches
Again, you've come to your joins a little bit fiddly. Don't forget your chain two on top of the sleeve there on the left. And then your decrease stitch. And there's another chain two. Well, it's a treble, sorry. I'm thinking of the, I'm looking at the other way. The front is the chain two. You had five stitches at the top of your sleeves. And then sometimes you have to be really careful. There's three stitches on each front top. So it's your chain two, your decrease and the treble. So make sure you get all three. Oh, it's so fiddly. Let's pull that over the top. Then just put your going down the left front, your stitch in the natural hole, then round the post, and do that all the way down. One in the corner, the base of the stitch, just makes that nice graduation. One in each of your unworked stitches. Don't forget the chain two, uh, two. and I'll chain one just to go around the bend. And then you start back on your hole around the post in the hole around the post and you do exactly the same as you've come up the front I'll meet you back here put your last double crochet in that first chain there let's mark where the buttons are going to go the button holes that's where I've put mine if you want to pause the video and Pop your stitch markers or a safety pin if you've got them if you've got one and why I do that as well put those bright colored stitch markers in when I go back around I won't forget and just carry on because I have done that before so that's where I'm going to put the button holes just make sure they're fastened in there you go you're at the bottom Make sure you get the right thread. Your last double crochet, like I said, in that first chain. Chain one. Turn your work. You're working on the wrong side now. Oh, I've got my yarn stuck. And all you want to do, this row is a lot easier. You don't have to think. It's one double crochet per stitch. All the way around the neck and we'll stop in this corner okay I've gone all the way around I have took my stitch, mar stitch markers out I marked them equally as you saw before and how I did it was go all up back up the left side round the neck you get to the last corner before you're going down the straight on the right hand side put one stitch on the straight miss a double crochet chain one then work seven double crochets again miss a double crochet and chain one seven double crochets down the front and then for your next button there it is button all miss a double crochet chain one and then double crochet all the way down to the bottom at the bottom of your button band chain one and turn your work you have the right side facing you want two double crochet at the bottom one in each 
stitch, attach the tail, and then the next stitch is a picot, and you do one double crochet, chain three. Now most regular picots you would go back into the double crochet, but we're not going to do that. You're going to go back where you started the double crochet and put another one in the same stitch. Two double crochet, one in each, and then the picot. One double crochet, chain three, back down, one double crochet. And you need to repeat this all the way up the right side, all the way up, round the neck, down the left hand side, and I will meet you back down in this corner. I've gone all the way around. I'm at the bottom of the left hand side. I have three stitches left. If you have four, fit another, um, any more than three, I would fit another pico at the bottom. But if you've got two, that's perfect. And what I'm going to do, because I just want two, I am going to do two together. So that's a, like a decrease. And then put one in the first double crochet at the bottom. So it looks the same as the right side. That's one really good thing with crochet. You can kind of cover up things or make things different. And then what you want to do is to turn the corner, I chain one, just to turn. And then you've got two rows of plain double crochet for the button band, go into one and two, so you're making it like a sweep around the corner. And I found when I was working this pattern out is I didn't like pico on the corners. I liked it plain and then start the pico. So we're on the bottom edge. Now we've got the chain space. Do your pico in there. And you do the same principle as you've done all the way around the right, around the neck and down the left. Two double crochet, pico. Two double crochet, pico. One double crochet in the three treble and one double crochet in the chain four. And you remember this chain four between each three treble. So you want four stitches, no matter what it is, four stitches and one in the natural hole of the three treble, all the way around to the end. So I, how you remember four stitches is when you first start, there doesn't seem a pattern, but a pattern does emerge. Just keep checking. So you did one double crochet, your pico, gently pull it up a little bit. And your pico is only one stitch, because even though you've done two double crochet, if you remember when you did it on the front, you put the two double crochet after the, with the chain three in one stitch. And you do the same principle along the bottom here. There's only three in there, so I pop another double crochet. And then your picot is in the base of the chain. The um, three treble, sorry. And there does a, a pattern does emerge slowly as, as you keep going. And one of the chain four, you will live with two picot in. So after another couple, you'll see a, a pattern emerging all the way around. And then you know when you've not done enough or too much stitches because you think it doesn't, where's my two pico in one of the chains. And you always, at, at some point, you get a pico in the bottom of the three treble as well. So a, a pattern does emerge. Do that all the way across, all the way around. And your last chain four, I'll meet you just there. 
and then we'll do a finish off this corner together. I've gone all the way around. I'm on the last chain four space. Now, depending how you've ended up up to this point, I am doing a pico, two double crochet, and a pico in that space, which has worked out just right. I would have liked it to have been in the chain one, but it doesn't matter. Double crochet, double crochet in that last one chain space. And then you're back almost to the beginning of the third round or row. And you want to put two, one in each of the bottom of the row end of your button band. And there you go. That will match that side there. Now a bit of a tip is what I do. Give yourself usual six to eight inches. I pull the yarn through. And then I will thread the needle and then I will go into the first double crochet. And it kind of just makes it a little bit smoother going round the corner as opposed to abruptly finishing. Just a tip. There you go. That's the end of part four. I've done one. I'll show you the other one in part five, the sleeve ends, the edging.